Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. Then today we'll be doing a quick speed test comparison of two powerful devices, two flagship devices rather. We have the newly launched iQ12 with us, and we'll also be doing it, uh, comparing it rather with the iPhone 15 Pro. Now iPhone 15 Pro is almost uh, three times the price of iQ12. Uh, in fact, I bought the iPhone 15 Pro, the 256 gigabyte variant, almost close to one and a half lakh rupees. And uh, here we have uh, the iQ12 with card offers you can get as low as 49 rupees and that 50. Rupees. So it's just one third, almost one third of the pricing of the iPhone 15 Pro. But obviously there are differences, we are not going into that. But in terms of processing abilities, the iQ12 has the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor. Uh, we have the 16 gigabyte RAM variant and 512 gigabyte uh, storage. And this is LPDDR 5X and UFS 4.0. And uh, you get uh, Android 14 out of the box and Font Touch OS 40. And here we have the iPhone 15 Pro with uh, the iOS 17.2 and Apple's uh, uh, A17. Pro Bionic it's a 3 nanometer chip while this is a 4 nanometer chip now uh, we have the software version is completely different it's an iOS but it's running on the latest version of iOS so we will be doing a quick speed as comparison of the iPhone 15 Pro with the iQ12 and see how the performance is we'll uh, check the memory management we'll see the app opening time the animations then a speed test uh, speed of uh, the network uh, then uh, we'll uh, check uh, uh, the Antutu score and also the Geekbench score to see how they perform. So let's begin the speed test comparison of the iQ12 with the iPhone 15 Pro. So before that, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's begin. So we have the two devices with us. So let's just take uh, the settings of these two devices. So uh, in fact, we'll just uh, take the general settings. So about uh, iPhone 15 Pro and the iOS version is 17.1.2. And uh, we have uh, uh, here, let's just take this one system. Uh, or other about phone so here we have uh, uh, the 3.3 gigahertz uh, snapdragon 8 gen 3 and 16 gigs of ram android 14 and 512 gb of uh, uh, storage so that's the uh, device information and let's uh, just clear off all the background apps so there you go we just cleared off all the background apps on both the devices so none, nothing is running in the background let's start the test so we have connected both the devices to the same wi-fi network so let's just turn on the airplane mode on both the phones so there you go we are just turning on the airplane mode and wi-fi alone so there you go both are connected to the same wi-fi network let's start the testing uh, and uh, see how fast uh, these two devices are so let's start with asphalt 9 so let's see which opens asphalt 9 faster So you can see here, iPhone was faster here. So iPhone was faster in terms of Asphalt 9. So next uh, is uh, uh, BGMI. That's one of the important uh, games. So let's see which opens BGMI faster. So here iPhone has taken, I mean, uh, iQ has taken the lead here. In fact, iQ is much faster here. Uh, you can see that iPhone was uh, slightly slower here. So in terms of games, Asphalt was slightly faster on the iPhone, but uh, uh, BGMI was uh, faster on the uh, iQ 12. Now next is the App Store versus uh, Play Store. Here once again, iQ wins. So next uh, is the Chrome browser. Here again, you can see here iQ was uh, slightly faster. Facebook. I will just leave this because of that notification. Then Twitter, again IQ is faster. Instagram, iPhone is faster. Spotify, again iPhone is faster here. So next is Amazon, again iPhone is faster. Flipkart, almost same time probably. File Manager, IQ is faster. Settings, iPhone is slightly faster. YouTube iPhone is faster, Gmail, iQ is faster, camera, iPhone is slightly faster and maps. 
Uh, here iQOO is faster so you can see that uh, both of these uh, devices did really well in terms of app opening time games were mixed and then apps are also quite mixed i would say so iQOO and uh, iPhone both did exceedingly well in terms of app opening times so we wouldn't say there is one winner here but both of these did quite good job here now next uh, let's uh, see the memory management that's also important because how many apps can be kept in the memory and how is the memory performance uh, why i consider this is important as uh, because the Fun Touch OS has optimized the memory management. Let's see if that is re actually reflecting in the memory management. So let's uh, do the test in the reverse order. So let's go with uh, the maps, camera, Gmail, YouTube, settings, file manager, Flipkart, Amazon, Spotify, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook so as of now all the apps are available in the memory App Store now going to uh, the games you can see here both are available in the memory and finally as for now so you can see here all of the apps are available in the memory in fact this is uh, not completely reloaded but uh, just uh, the full not the full reload but you can see here just refreshed it but so we would say that both of these are quite good in terms of memory management and we didn't see any major hiccups so that was the speed test now next uh, let's go to the memory or uh, rather the internet speed test so we connected both the devices to the same server let's start with uh, iq so let's see uh, which how how far the speed is So we are getting almost exact same value here. You can see here almost exact same value. So both of them have pretty good Wi-Fi speeds. And next is the Antidote benchmark score. So here you can see that um, this is 2 lakh or rather 20 lakh. Uh, I'm sorry, 20 lakh uh, uh, 60,378. This is 15 lakhs. So obviously, the Snapdragon 8 uh, Gen 3 is way more powerful in terms of the CPU experience. So you can see here 20 lakh uh, 60,000. This is 15 lakh 14,000. So that's the. Uh, performance now finally we'll have the geekbench uh, test so here also you can see here uh, 2188 2848 so single core score is way higher on uh, the iphone and then uh, we have the multi core score 6648 6943 that is also higher on the iphone uh, 15 pro so that's the uh, cpu uh, score uh, for uh, the geekbench test so uh, this is the speed test so you could see that uh, both are really good and powerful devices now the advantage with iq12 is that you get a very good performance with the snapdragon 8 gen 3 with almost uh, one third of the pricing that's a surprisingly good uh, option for if you want really good performance especially in terms of gaming and uh, heavy usage you get up to 16 gigs of ram now the iphone uh, 15 pro obviously has the really optimized ios uh, that's a strong point ios 17 which is very strong uh, in terms of software experience and updates are uh, given by apple on a very really priority manner uh, even i could does that but software experience obviously the iPhone uh, has better uh, uh, better experience rather but if you look at the, the overall performance iQ is in the far behind or in fact iQ is almost as good as the iPhone 15 Pro in terms of raw performance so that was the speed test comparison hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day